save it. Yeah, so use a lot of repeat random sampling, which is what you did. You did a lot of random samples, right? Mm -hmm. Each start looking in the sample. So this thing, just what you did. See, it's kind of a part. So you throw dart many times. How many times actually fall into the red area, circle? Then you can kind of find. So this, I can show you. The n is the number of dart throws. Uh -huh. The pie, the right side is actually the result. Mm. If you look at this loop, what do we need to change here? Um, which, which line do we need to change? Mm -hmm. So, what was it testing? What was this if testing before? If it was in the first quadrant? Yeah. Now, what are we testing? In the circle. Right. So, how can we test this thing is in the circle? Mm, distance? Yeah, distance. you're smart. So, uh, let, how could you calculate the distance of the center? What's the distance of the center? Distance of center. What is it? Uh, square root of mm -hmm. x. Right. X, uh, yeah. Why is that? Mm. How many times have you actually thrown? One million, right? Mm -hmm. Is it one million? Mm -hmm. What's this number? Seven. Seven hundred eighty-five thousand three hundred seventy-nine. Mm, that's the yeah. Is it what you expected? Mhm. Mm Why? Because it's supposed to be about three quarters. And that is about three quarters. Oh, okay. So can we can we actually print out the pi estimate? So in order to do that, what do you need to do? You have to divide the thing by four million, right? Count is a very large number. Divided by okay. divide by one million. Oh, first you have to divide by one million, then times four. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm confused. Because you need to find the percentage and then times four. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, you need times four. Yeah, five percent and times four. Can I do it all here? Yes, but remember, this count is integer. Now you wanna you wanna floating point number, so you have to cast it like here. You need yeah. cast oh. it means you convert first. You have to convert. Uh, yes, count to a float number. Then you do your calculation. Okay, then you change this to F, uh, not D anymore. It's okay. a it's a floating number, and uh, this actually will give you the, the pi, the value of pi. Yay! All right. So if you change this one million to one billion, it will give you a more accurate number. What's the can you recite uh, the digital pi? 3.1415926 Okay, now this is 
it's not that accurate, right? It's only up to three digits, right? Mm -hmm. If you want more accurate, you need to throw more darts. So you learn from probability, right? The more time you do the experiment, the more accurate it is. Mm -hmm. That's the law of big numbers. Yeah. So change the one billion to what you got. To add, actually change the one hundred million to see what you got. To add a two zeros there. So at one point you will overflow because uh, there's a limit to this i cannot be infinity because there's a limit to how how big a number can be represented in co inside the computer. You know that, right? Mm. But I think 100 million still is within the range of, uh, of a valid integer. Yeah. But uh, after 2 billion, you probably have to. Now it's. <laughs> now it's the computer takes a bit more time. Is it more accurate? You see, it's. it's the fan turned down. Do you know why? Over yeah, because you are really giving the computer a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. okay. You can also see the. Wait. You can actually have a printed out how busy the computer is. This will represent how busy the computer is. These, if this bar is very long, it means it's very, very. This CPU has eight cores. See, one, two, three, eight. Each of this length of this bar represents how busy Core? it is. Core is a CPU uh. has eight cores or two cores. It's it's like identical. But see, one CPU actually has a little eight little CPU inside it. If you run this, you will see what's this this bar. Okay. You see this bar went to the one hundred percent. So this so this program actually is uh, straining one core. One call gets very very busy. Three point one four one four two one. All right, let's do one billion. See if you get more accurate. It's good to remember. Yeah, you have to change the book place. Mm -hmm. Now it will run ten times longer, so it will take Three a minute. Yeah, it's just heating up because whenever you get to be busy, it takes a lot of heat, a lot of power to run. How come only one of them goes up? Because you you have a single threaded program. You you don't. This program is not multi thread It's not like a parallel program, so you can only use one core at a time. No, I just keep changing. Uh, the CPU will move task from one call to another when I think it's it's needed. So oh. Yeah if you keep running over time you will see eventually they'll get more accurate. But it's not uh, so obvious. So one billion and one one hundred million uh is not a huge difference anymore. That was actually better with the Remember this is a probability, okay? Any individual experiment sample does not tell you much. You have to repeat this like many of the time, then you will see a trend. Mm -hmm. Then maybe this is just luck, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a luck. It's like you throw dark random uh, times. If you got lucky, you you get a good result. But if you try again, it won't be the same thing. But this one is really accurate, right? Mm -hmm. 